In this video I will introduce the Obsidian Starter Kit, the best starting point that you can find for Obsidian. So first of all the Obsidian Starter Kit is for people who are just getting started with note taking and or Obsidian and would like to avoid wasting time basically. So it is for people who don't have time to do research, extensive research I mean, uh, who just want to get started very quickly and get productive instead of having to research and discover what are the best practices and how to organize knowledge and information within Obsidian. So that is the main target of the Obsidian Starter Kit. The Starter Kit is also for you if you do have experience with note-taking but are wondering about all these techniques that people can't stop babbling about like Zellolkasten, the prior method, and everything in between that are just all the hype right now and maybe you are, you are wondering are these techniques useful for me do they make sense what are they useful for how do they work what's the secrets behind all of this i have spent many years exploring note taking and knowledge management in general uh, it's a passion of mine next to software development and learning in general um, i've used many tools basically most of the tools out there, I give them a try from the most basic ones to the most advanced. Uh, and I've settled on uh, Obsidian last year. So I was researching for a startup project and I was looking at the latest, the state of the art, I would say, uh, of PKM. And in my opinion, uh, Obsidian one was one of the top contenders because it was really advanced, had a huge community and many plugins that I could use to extend my user experience. And I've not been disappointed. As with many tools, Obsidian can seem daunting at first. Uh, that's normal, it's just because the interface is quite heavy. There are many options, there are tons, uh, there are tons of community plugins. And yeah, you can drone into that. You can look at it and feel overwhelmed because you don't know where to start. And that's all right. The thing is that you have to accept that you don't need to know everything uh, up front. Uh, but over time, you will get to discover various features, just like the support for the metadata, the front matter, as they call it, um, the support for tags, for nested tags, uh, how to install and configure plugins, how those plugins change the way in which you can take notes and create links between notes. Uh, for instance, plugins that will help you create mind maps and create visual representation of knowledge. Uh, these representations can be really, really useful on a day-to-day -day basis. Over the years, I've tried different techniques for note-taking and knowledge management, both personally and professionally. Uh, personally, as a lifelong learner, I've always had an interest in the tools that I could use to record the things that I've discovered, uh, mainly because I know that the human brain is not so great at retrieval, so even though you can memorize a ton of information, you have no certainty about your capability to retrieve that information when you need it. Uh, in 2021, I stumbled upon Obsidian during um, research that I was doing for a startup project and I immediately knew that it was the perfect tool for organizing, organizing my own knowledge. So I started migrating over my content, uh, I started exploring the community plugins and slowly also perfecting my own system. So I am an author, I am a content creator, I'm a software developer and all of that mixed together uh, makes up a lot of content uh, that I have to organize, meaning that I need a scalable system that uh, still functions even though there is more and more information added to it. And so far I'm quite happy with the results that I've achieved. Uh, that is why at some point I have decided to create the Obsidian Starter Kit to try and extract the parts that I found useful for others and sharing those with the community. So the Obsidian Starter Kit is the result uh, of that research. Uh, Obsidian is not the hardest thing in the world. So it's a complex tool. It's not like the simplest text editor that you can find, but it's also not the most complex piece of software uh, in existence. Although it does take a lot of time, uh, and trial and error to find your way around it and find ways in which you can use it without creating, uh, I would say, an overwhelming mess. So it's quite easy to create a very complex folder structure just to realize that you cannot find your nodes back because you didn't spend time tagging them correctly or uh, not knowing where you need to file some node because your system is too complicated. 
so this is something that I've learned the hard way. Uh, I have learned to structure my notes in such a way that I can file them efficiently and I can find them back easily. The Obsidian Starter Kit uh, is composed of two parts. The first part is a database uh, that you can open with Obsidian, which is a starting point that includes first the folder structure that I do recommend for uh, structuring and organizing your notes within Obsidian, a set of plugins that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and that I have pre-configured within the Obsidian Starter Kit, uh, as well as a set of templates and automation rules. So the templates are basically means for you to quickly create notes of different types. So for instance, if you want to capture information about a person, about a contact, uh, about a quote, about uh, some notes that you want to take on a specific topic, then you can use those templates to quickly create uh, something that is already pretty well structured. Um, also, on the other side, you have the user guide, and the user guide is a set of documentation about both theory and practice. On the practical side, you have guides that will explain to you how to capture notes, how to capture quotes, how to capture information about contacts, etc. How to tag your notes, for instance. But also, on the other side, the theoretical aspect will include explanations about the Zettelkasten method, the Johnny Decimal system, the Power method, and the different uh, approaches and best practices that are included in the starter kit and that I do recommend. There are also guides around how to tag your notes, around how to do journaling, how to approach it, because uh, oftentimes when you hear about journaling, what you see is uh, explanations about how to um, basically explain your day, what happened today, and it, it's a good part of journaling, it's really useful. But you can also use journaling as a way to keep track of the information that you've stumbled upon. As a lifelong learner myself, uh, the journal is really the entry point in my own knowledge base and it's really an important part of my whole process. And the process is also something that I explain in the user guide. So with this, I hope that the contents of the Obsidian Starter Kits uh, is a bit clearer to you uh, and I will see you in the next video.